Happy Constitution Day, everyone. It was actually today on September 17th in 1787 that the men we now refer to as the founders first signed into effect the U.S. Constitution. So I thought I'd share with you my favorite part of the Constitution. And my favorite part isn't actually a sentence or an article specifically so much as it is the purpose that led them to actually write the Constitution in the first place. And we all sort of take it for granted, I think, a little bit but there's a very important reason why the founders chose to write a constitution and, and, and moreover chose to write ours the way that they did. You see, most constitutions were a legal framework that allowed, most constitutions at the time, I mean, were a legal framework that defined what, what people and property owners and other entities would, would be able to do or not do. And the U.S. Constitution is the exact opposite. It's a legal framework that... Uh, restricts the government, not the people. Uh, but more importantly, the big purpose or the big why behind the U.S. Constitution was it was the way for the founders to document what the where the responsibilities would lie in terms of uh, here's what the federal government w would be responsible for and here's what local governments, like your state, would be responsible for. And everything else we did mention is completely up to the people to decide. Um, and their states. And I think to appreciate the true meaning of this, you have to read the Founders' uh, other notes and writings on the matter, and, and it certainly helps if you read um, some earlier documents like the Declaration of Independence. These ideas that we're a republic of, for, and by the people, those are just a few words, but if you read their notes, you really start to have a feeling of the true impact of how important those words are. They are very carefully selected. And the meaning runs much deeper than those words really, I think, can communicate on face value. It was so different at the time, and the Constitution in the 1700s was somewhat controversial because um, this was a time when people accepted being the subjects of governments and they accepted that they could only own things and, and certainly land and property if the governing body allowed them to. And the U.S. is the exact opposite. That is, the government, moreover the federal government, owns nothing and has no rights or abilities other than that which the people give to it. And I think that's a very important idea and one that we take for granted, but it's it's historically significant and I think it's one that, um, that we should be reminded of, frankly. Um, but I do think if you read some of the other notes and writings of the founders, you'll have a newfound appreciation for the Constitution because it gives you a glimpse into why they chose the words that they chose. If you read it at face value, it sounds funny um, because it's language we don't use today, but when you read what they had to say about it, it becomes very clear that those are very well planned and very, very intentionally chosen words. So read their notes, read their writings, and then read the Constitution, and you'll see why things like um, Section uh, 8 of Article 1 and Amendment 10 in the Bill of Rights are, are so important and were so significant to them. That's my favorite part of the Constitution. What's yours?